On August 17, 2024, Disney stirred significant conversation in the entertainment industry by officially announcing a remake of the iconic Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. This decision has generated a spectrum of reactions from fans and critics, largely due to the notable absence of Johnny Depp, the actor whose portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow catapulted the character and the franchise into pop culture stardom. The exclusion of Depp from this new project comes in the wake of his highly publicized legal battles with former partner Amber Heard, which have not only altered his public image but have also impacted the way audiences perceive the franchise itself. The origins of the Pirates of the Caribbean series trace back to a Disneyland attraction that debuted in 1967. Over the decades, this beloved ride has been replicated in Disney parks around the world, becoming a staple of the Disney experience. However, the attraction has faced increasing scrutiny for its depiction of themes that many now consider outdated and problematic, particularly regarding the portrayal of women. Critics have pointed out elements of sexism and misogyny, which prompted Disney to take action. In 2018, the company undertook a significant reimagining of the ride, attempting to eliminate some of these contentious themes. Despite these efforts, debates among fans regarding the attraction's appropriateness and future direction persist highlighting the challenges Disney faces in adapting historical attractions to modern sensibilities. As discussions surrounding the franchise's future intensified, fueled by Depp's legal controversies, speculation emerged regarding the potential removal of Captain Jack Sparrow from both the ride and the films. While some fans feared that the beloved character would be sidelined, Disney managed to retain Depp's animatronic likeness within the attractions, showing a reluctance to sever ties completely with the character that has become synonymous with the brand. The discourse around Depp's exclusion from the remake has further ignited debates online, as fans grapple with the implications of the actor's ongoing legal issues and their effect on his legacy. In the midst of this, Margot Robbie has emerged as a potential leading figure in the new film, a move that has sparked both excitement and skepticism among fans. Producer Jerry Bruckheimer has expressed enthusiasm for developing two new films, one that would showcase Robbie as the lead character and another that would serve as a reboot of the original series. His comments indicate Disney's desire to not only innovate the franchise, but to also explore new narratives that align with contemporary audience expectations. Bruckheimer has also expressed a willingness to consider Depp's involvement, although he remains uncertain about the potential for the actor to reprise his iconic role as Jack Sparrow. This uncertainty reflects the broader complexities Disney faces as it attempts to navigate the intersection of legacy and modernity, particularly in an era increasingly focused on diversity and representation. Beyond the film industry, the theme park rides that inspired the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise continue to be a focal point for Disney's branding and marketing strategies. The company has leveraged the success of the ride format to create new attractions, such as the recently launched Rapunzel's Lantern Festival at Tokyo Disney Sea. This approach demonstrates Disney's commitment to evolving its offerings, while simultaneously maintaining a connection to its rich history. However, not all recent attractions have been met with universal acclaim. For instance, the Nasix River journey in Disney's Animal Kingdom has received mixed reviews with visitors expressing disappointment when advanced technological features malfunction. Such incidents underline the pressures Disney faces in maintaining high standards for guest experiences, especially when expectations are set by the franchise's storied past. As Disney prepares for future expansions, including an immersive land inspired by James Cameron's Avatar, the conversation around the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise continues to reveal a divide among fans. Some argue that the focus should shift towards new intellectual properties, while others feel a strong attachment to established favorites like pirates. This tension raises critical questions about how Disney will balance innovation with nostalgia, particularly as it seeks to attract new generations of visitors while honoring the legacy of beloved franchises. The upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean remake represents not only a fresh chapter for the franchise, but also a broader commentary on the challenges of reinvention in a rapidly changing cultural landscape. As the company navigates these complexities, it remains to be seen how it will reconcile the desires of its diverse fan base with the imperative to remain relevant and socially conscious in its storytelling. Ultimately, the future of Pirates of the Caribbean lies at the intersection of nostalgia innovation, and societal change. 
setting the stage for a fascinating exploration of what it means to be a part of the Disney legacy in the 21st century.